All right, back with another one. Uh, right now, we're in the greenhouse painting garbage cans and fixing up picnic tables, redoing them, sanding them down, painting them, shit like that, tightening up frames. Uh, but this specific day, the sun was out. It also was snowing, but the sun was out, and I figured I'd get a couple shots in. Uh, yeah, today we had to plow. Well, that day we had to plow. I got my mirror boots on. 200 grams of insulation and turns out that's not enough so uh, next year I'll be trying a boot with 400 grams uh, my boss has a thousand I don't know if I would go that far uh, but yeah just different angles in the greenhouse trying to catch the sun Back in January, I picked up a pair of uh, Red Wing Super Souls 4435s. So this was the first day after work, uh, pretty dirty. I initially wanted to get them conditioned before I even wore them, you know, but uh, they were pretty busy in the store and the manager ended up going to the back to condition them and then came back with them <laughs> exactly how they came from the factory. So. Needless to say, I didn't realize that until I got home and then I brought them back the next day. It was after that after that work day. Um, took them up there to get them conditioned and this is what they look like after the fact. Uh, so still, they look nice and the sooner you get them conditioned, the, the better they are, the easier it is to break them in. And, These really molded to my feet. These are the Dynaforce, uh, no steel toe. The Super Soles are steel toe, so I'm getting used to that. This is my first steel toe boot. But yeah, those are the, the three that I'm rocking right now. I'm only wearing the mirrors when it snows, so. Um, a little bit after that, I decided to repair the hole that was forming in my crotch. Um, so little jobs like this, I'll do myself. It's only when it, it, it's a huge rip or the, the cuff, the seam of the cuff is riffing, rip, riffing, ripping. I would, you know, take that to a tailor. But for shit like this, I'll just throw a patch in there and sew away. So I did fuck up because I tried to instead of patching it like I was supposed to and not taking big gaps, I was, I was trying, I, I took a big leap so that I can get all four corners of the patch down and then I could keep working and work from the outside in. Well, that's not a good idea because any of those longer ones has a greater chance of tearing on the outside or the inside and then you're screwed because now the stitching is coming out and then eventually all of it is gonna unthread and you're gonna lose your patch. So I'll get that reinforced uh, when I go and take them to the cleaners eventually. It'll be after I wash them. And it's getting pretty soon, I think I'll, cause it's holding dirt like no other jeans I've ever had before, so. 
getting pretty close. And I, I love the fit. I just appreciate how loose they are, but they're still, they still fit me, if that makes sense. They're not as tight as the PBJs or the Iron Hearts, but they're not baggy. So they're, they're that's good for work chains. Uh, January 24th, I think I was just showing just just an update, close-ups. So painting, so I got red paint on these, which, well, uh, the PBJs got paint on them. I'm just like, well, that's, that's part of the job, so I'm not going to shy away from paint if I'm working with paint in their work jeans. It's inevitable, so... Crotch is fading out pretty nicely. I'm going to have to do another repair on the back side, on the back right side. It's starting to fray. And if that goes, then I'm, I'm pretty, and it's ripping vertically. So I'm pretty sure if I bend over, and uh, it's going to rip on me at work. So I'm going to go ahead and reinforce that as soon as I get a chance. And then I also have to replace the pocket. So I, I like that the, the denim is fraying on the outside, but the actual pocket bag is ripping. And so the whole multi-tool is sticking out. So eventually that would just slip out. And so I stopped wearing it in my pocket until I fixed that. But CPO shirt, 18 ounce, nine months. I only wear it in the winter under my uh, Carhartt right there, or a hoodie. But it's never out in the elements. It's not, um, it, I mean, the cuffs may get dusty or the bottom may get dusty or the collar, but the actual, the, the majority of it is covered. Um, no painting in it, or if I paint, like I said, I'm, it's covered. So I try to keep it clean, but I wanna wear it at work to get the most use out of it. To get more wear and tear. That's where I beat my clothes up. So, yeah, so far so good. And then I think by the end of this season, I would have had at least, maybe it, it, it might equal up to January, February, March, April, maybe a year. I might get a year's worth of wear after this season. And then next season, I started October I started wearing it in September, October, and then I'll stop wearing it in like March or April or something like that, or May, depending on the weather. So, put it away for the summer and pull it back out in the fall. Okay, so February 1st, I didn't do it today, but this was my latest repair. I'm also showing where it's fraying right there. I'm gonna have to repair that. But that's on the right side next to the crotch. Yeah, that's it for this one.